All right, hello and welcome to our brand new LJMU Sports Business Hall of Fame series. Uh, we are joined today with uh, Jose. All right, first question. Um, in about 30 seconds, just give us a quick background on yourself. Uh, so my name is Jose. I'm from Portugal and I moved to Liverpool for John Moores. I'm currently a uh, full-time footballer in Portugal and uh, I feel like spent a few years in sports business and uh, through all my time with the course I got a bit of experience in media and marketing with football clubs in England as well so it was a really great experience. Amazing, nice. Um, so we like to start off uh, this series with a very important question. Um, cats or dogs and why? Dogs. I like the, I like the fuss, I like the attention. Nice. The cats are a bit more independent so much more of a dog person could not agree more could not agree more yeah. all right okay um would you recommend applying uh for a sports business degree at lgmu so would you recommend it to other students to apply at sports business i would definitely recommend the sports business to any student that wants to get in the sports industry uh it's just from my experience with what the course was it was perfect to create a network so i'd leave and you know i knew what I, where i wanted to go i knew what opportunities i had to pursue to to get there it was just it was exactly what i needed and anyone that wants to work in the sports industry i think is the perfect setup to get them ready for it so you would you would definitely recommend it to people who are sort of maybe in college applying for universities now and are looking at sport business courses yeah i, I definitely recommend it yeah it's it's perfect for anyone trying to, to get in the sports industry because you get an overall idea of you know it's not just a specific like specific sports you get an overall idea of everything you can pretty much go into you don't need like even sports related things so like media marketing in the sports context it's it's ideal for it really yeah totally agree and almost i suppose you could almost go into anything business related as well because it's almost too yeah exactly yeah because uh for, like for example if i wanted to go and do marketing in a company that isn't even sports related i could do it because i had that you know the basic knowledge of it i obtained it all from the course so yeah it was perfect yeah 100%. So it's interesting you saying it was really useful course. Um, was it a really enjoyable course? And if it was, we hope it was. Um, is there any moments or highlights that stick out to you, things you enjoyed the most? I, I had quite, like throughout my, my years, I had quite a lot of group work to do. And I, I like that side of it because it wasn't, you, you get to like socialize as well. And you look, it's, I thought it was important to build those cooperation skills for me the highlights were probably the like sports business and practice modules because yeah. I actually like I, I had a really I got really lucky I got a really good placement in the first time we did sports business and practice at IFC filed and because uh, they asked me to stay on with that it was it was perfect for me and so that automatically sports business and practice was my, my favorite module straight away just the fact that I could go out there you know be in the the environment of some somewhere where I'd like to be in the future yeah it was Perfect for me. Yeah, we, li we listened about that in the five and five with Lou and the amazing yeah. stuff. Doing that. Yeah, really good. All right. Um, how would you say your bond was between you and the faculty on the sports business course? It was it was really good. Like I, I tell some of my some mates of mine that have gone to other universities, and I feel like they haven't created the same level of bonds that we have in our courses. It was it was. I feel like most of the students were actually quite close and the fact that we still speak to them even after we've gone on to graduate, you know, we're still engaging and stuff like this. It's, it's a really good sign, I think. Like I, I spoke to, I remember Anise messaged me when I signed for the club in Portugal and, you know, we managed to, to chat about that and the fact that they were so engaged on us even after we graduate, it, it means a lot. And I, I think throughout our course, we created really good bonds, which was important for our success as well in the, in the course. Yeah, I think the uh, the big difference between this course and other courses is, you know, you can tell the lecturers do really care. Um, and another thing I think they care about is getting us like relevant experience, relevant placements along the way. You know, it's not just about the degree. Um, so yeah. for people applying and maybe people in second and third year or even first year in sports business, um, can you just give an idea of, in your opinion, how important sort of placements and getting job experiences alongside actually earning the degree. Yeah, the what well, like it was really important to be proactive ourselves aside from from the degree, you know, because we we do get the option of like picking the set out placements, 
and then we can also pursue our own things, which I think I, I did personally, and I know a few other people did. And that proactiveness was was really important because it, you know I've graduated and I've got pretty much like two years of experience in the media marketing environment whilst doing my uni degree. So it's automatically you know builds builds your CV. So not only what we're learning from the course itself, but then you're getting that practical experience as well. And it's it's really essential to be proactive and looking for those. Hundred percent. Anyone watching this, get your experience up. Heard it from Jose. Yeah. Well, I remember what I said to to Louise was in the five and five was be nosy. Just like there's nothing wrong with just sending out a bunch of emails. You know, looking for placements. Use LinkedIn as a resource. It's it's really it's really good to, to build that experience while you're in the degree. Um, what advice would you give to current students who are going through a difficult phase where they are thinking of dropping out? It, it, it happens, it happens to everyone. I think it happened to me as well, because for me, it was, I knew I wanted to go into full-time football and I was struggling to manage my time. And it got, it got really hard, especially when the dissertation comes wrong. It's not easy, but it's, it's really, I feel like the fact that I got my head switched on, carried it carried out, I didn't give up. It's a really great feeling when you graduate. And it's important to hold on to the thought, you know, how amazing it's going to feel when you finish. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a marathon, it's not a sprint. There's, and it, it is like, it does get demanding, but you know, when you finish it, you're going to be so proud that you did it. I, unfortunately, I did like, we didn't get our graduation because of the, the pandemic. But just the fact that, you know, when the certificate comes in and, you're, and it hits you like, I've done this now, it's a really amazing feeling. So it's I really I think it's important to hold on to that thought throughout your throughout your course. Yeah, that's that's definitely inspiring me. Uh, I don't know about you, Louis. It's definitely inspiring me this year. The thought of you know at the end of this year, it's only one more year to go, and then you you've got that degree um, and you finish your dissertation as well. So obviously, massive sense of achievement there. Um, have you got anything else to ask, Louis? Um, yeah, I've got one more. Um, do you feel that after completing the three year sports business course that you are prepared for like entering the real world, real world or even getting a full time job? Like, do you feel like prepared after completing it? Oh, yeah, yeah, 100 percent. The the fact that throughout the, our degree, we had the chance to create the networks as well, that like we got into LinkedIn really early. And I think that's such a useful resource. And uh, what we've learned from the course, I, I finished it and I was like, okay, I know exactly what I want to do. I know exactly what I have to do to get to where I want. And I think that uh, sports business really gave me the tools, you know, to finish and feel absolutely comfortable, not worrying about what to do next. I was lucky that like, obviously I got a job that I wanted yeah. straight away, but I can, you know, if, if, uh, if playing football doesn't quite work out, I'm still keeping active with Fylde and, doing everything, you know, and that stuff that came from the course, from my placements, it, it's built the, you know, the foundations of getting a job and everything. I know I'll be ready and it all came from the course. So, so yeah, definitely. Great, great. Um, so Jose, you're clearly a credit to the sport business course uh, with the success yeah. you're having after it. So I'd like to take this opportunity to formally induct you into the Sports Business Alumni Hall of Fame uh, by the Thank power of me by Louise Williams. Congratulations. Thank you very much. It means a lot. Thank Going you. How do you feel? Over the moon. It feels amazing. Uh, I'm very happy with my mouth for this moment. Thank you. I love it. Um, so remember, if anyone else out there wants to be involved with the Sports Business Hall of Fame, um, come on in, tell us your stories, contact me, Louis, or anybody uh, on the Sports Business course, any of the lecturers. Um, have you got anything else you want to say before we go, Jose? I'm going to stick with what I said. Be nosy, be proactive. And uh, if you're thinking about, you know, this, this might not be for me, it is. And sticking out with it is so worth it. Just keep going. Yeah, so 100%. So if there's anything you want people to take from this video, it's be nosy and be proactive. Absolutely. Be nosy and be proactive, yeah. Well, thank you so much, Jose. And that is the end of the first video of Sports Business Hall of Fame. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you.